They're, they're man to man defense right now. Really Later not. fires. He hits it. Later makes it 36 33 for Chucky. With three minutes to go in the first half. I think he want to answer Smith. He came right back with a long jumper of his own. Roby Shue is off right now. He's done. He doesn't have his hands. Just put it back on. Good move. He hits it again, 36-35. Tony Smith has 17 points There's to take the score. Roby's trying to put his shoe back on. He needs to go ahead and unlace it, put it back on. He gets it's going to fall off. Won't hurt him offensively, but defensively, he needs to have it in lead. Billy, we're down to two and a half to play in the first half. Roby in the high post. There's Slater sneaking around on a split and hit the layup. They scissored out in front, and he came off the screen and got in there. There's the case where the official did not make any call, which I think is the best call in that case because the play was over before Prius was able to get the car. 38-35, Kentucky ahead. Another sack gets the ball in working position all the time. Smith missed that one off split. He, he almost shot that one with the back at the halftime. We're going to have college basketball report, and we're going to have a report on a good friend of ours, an official from the Rocky Mountain area, naturally. Herb Brown. He's a quality man. The officials don't have an easy job, but we see a game today that's tough to work. So much uh, constant action. There you see Hank Nichols there. And you know, Kurt, why Smith took that shot? Clark was a little bit upset with it, but Smith says, look, the guy's following me. I think I can work on him, which is a good move on his part. 38-36, 18 points for little Tony Smith. Well, he has a good-looking form, doesn't he? He does. 38-37. He hit the brace. Under two minutes to go in the first half. LeVon Williams back on the floor for Kentucky. Miss Gibbons cutting through that time. There's Macy. LeVon Williams up with a follow shot. 40 to 37, Kentucky. Great rebound, man. Three-point lead for the Wildcats against the Rebels. When Kentucky was playing a 1 v 1 zone, Theus was able to come back in the guard spot. Theus, there he goes, and he carried the ball. He traveled with it. What a first stride he had, Billy. He, watch, his, watch his stride on his goal. It is good move right Look here. Now, what happened? The ball got slapped right there. When it did, he had to be in a walking violation position. 13 turnovers against Kentucky, 7 against Nevada. Clear out for Macy. Wasn't able to beat him. Now, oh, that was a dangerous shot. Roby underneath. Given shoot. Up on the rebound. Down with the ball. With uh, Marcus out of Reggie Theus. Tony Smith. Now they're going to play for the last shot of the half. 50 seconds to go. And I'm surprised Kentucky's not going out and still putting the pressure on. They have not been able to wear this UNLV team down, which is a real testimony to this, this ball club. We're playing here on Kentucky's home court, the number one team, and they're giving them a real battle today. With 32 seconds to go now in the first half. Nevada trailing by only three points. Played a great first half. And they didn't bring a lot of people along with them because you can't get many seats in this Coliseum. So not a lot of fans spurring them on if they're playing an outstanding basketball game. Good move by Tarkanian here to hang on to it. They're down to 12 seconds and a half. They want the last shot. They'd like to run one behind. Or maybe tie it on the three-pointer. This is Theus. Theus feeding Smith. Smith long jump. He, oh! he hits it. 30 feet out. And he got it in. Perfect strategy by Nevada and Las Vegas. And there you have it. At the half, they played for the last shot. He hit it with one second to go. Kentucky 40. Nevada. Today, Billy, as you know, we're going to be picking a player to receive the Gillette Most Valuable Player of the Game Scholarship Award. So let's get thinking. Well, I tell you, it was a very interesting first half. And I'd look for Kentucky to come out with some more pressure on their defense because when they went zone, UNLV was able to capitalize on it a great deal. And of course, with, with Evans in foul trouble, that really takes away what Tark would like to do with some flexibility. I think you'll see UNLV play the same kind of game. Kentucky's got to alter things somewhat, try to wear this team down. They've got more personnel. 
they can just keep coming with them. I think, interestingly, Kurt, they out-rebounded UNLV, but they also had 12 turnovers to seven. There's Tark looking like just a smiling little gentleman over there, but he's a competitor. And the tip is over to Kentucky as we start the second half. Kurt Gowdy and Billy Packer driving underneath is Roby. 42-39, Rick Roby. Well, he's listening to the game. That really upset Tark to have a man drive the baseline like that because he does play good fundamental defense. Robinson was looking for somebody in the corner, and the man had left the corner. So he threw it away. Now that, they're working out of a double stack formation down there, and the man just never bounced out. Ruben Clater across the midline. Theus on Roby now. Tarkanian trying to do anything he can to slow this team down. an excellent timeout call right there because Tark fell to the Basketball Hall of Fame in Springfield, Massachusetts. Cliff Hagen. He was a great hook shot player. Adolph Rupp thought about changing him, making him stop hook shooting. But he was so deadly with it that he let him go on. And he got his way in college and pro ball right into the Basketball Hall of Fame in Springfield, Massachusetts. This He'll be inducted in April. Kurt, it's an important possession for UNLV. The game started getting away from them somewhat. Kentucky really picking up the defensive pressure. Trying to move that ball now. But they should do a little more passing. That's Theus. Block underneath by Gibbons. Theus up again. Look at that body English you put in there. What body control Reggie Theus has? players were just standing. They should have collapsed on him inside because he was right underneath the basket. Good play by Theus. They have the all-court press on again. 44-41, Kentucky. Look at that, wide open. James Lee, ball got away from him. Lee shoots and hits it. 46-41. Joe, one of the four seniors playing his final home game. Given Lee, Roby, and Phillip. We'll say goodbye to the home fans today. Joe Hall countered very well there. He's got Evans playing against Lee now, and he's going to backdoor Evans somewhat. Underneath, nobody there. Bad pass by Milky. Lee on the fast break. Givens. Underneath, missed by Lee. Rebounded by Earl Evans. Vegas right back with it. Tony Smith hadn't unloaded yet. Oh, he missed it. Boy, did he crash to the floor. Roby goes down with him. Little man against the big man. It's done call. Tony Smith hasn't penetrated yet for this ball game. Now, what the call is going to be right there is that Rick Roby pulled on over and got there after he had already been committed up in the air. So that's the reason the people are hollering call to make and I think Roby hurt his elbow. Rick Roby charged with a foul, the first team foul of the half on Kentucky. 23 points for Tony Smith, 24 for him, a three-point play and it's a 46-44 game. Kentucky, the number one team in the country, in the lead by only two points on their home court. And they have the height advantage. Outside is Slater, he misses. Lee up on the foul shot to make it 48-44. And Evans can't afford to handle Lee, and Jerry Darkanian's trying to slide people around best as possible to hide Evans, but there's nobody he can put him on. Leas, this guy, they lose the ball again. Roby, Gibbons, Gibbons, shooting Roby. Well, you have to love Roby. Grabs the rebounds, leads the fast break. He's an all-around great ball player. Fouls on Milky, the first team foul on the battle. Two on Milky. Three minutes gone in the second half. A four-point lead for Kentucky. Kentucky will play Vanderbilt Monday night at Vanderbilt to close out their regular season. They'll be in Knoxville next weekend for the opening round of the NCAA playoffs. 
as a Southeast Conference champion. Basie up. Kentucky is not going away there from their offense to get the ball to Lee. There's an elbow right there by Milky. Milky, Milky threw an elbow. Watch this last tip in. Macy goes in. Evans comes over. Now here comes Givens. No block out on him. It's kind of interesting. Thea said, hey, the ref, he hit my arm, but when you don't block a man out, he comes baseline, he's going to score. That foul was on Milky, two on him. Two deep fouls on the Rebels. One on Kentucky this half. Wide open is Givens. He hits it. 52-44. Eight-point lead. That's the biggest lead of the game. And Kentucky has it. Excellent coaching by Joe Hall. UNLV likes to overplay against the forward, so he's constantly backdooring, setting up easy plays. Jackie Robinson feeding Milky. That's so good. And the foul is called on Lee. James Lee, that's the fourth foul on him. Mike Phillips hasn't been back in this ball game since the initial uh, start of the game to see if he's going to come in. Yeah, he's going to be the man coming in. Mike Phillips will come in. Phillips. James Lee's going to go out of the ball Ohio. Game. Lee will go out. Lee's a local Lexington product. There goes Lee out. Court. These four seniors are going to return to this court one more time in the World Invitational Tournament, which Joe Hall is going to coach, and he's going to have that as the nucleus of his team to play against the Russian Cuba Charles and Cuba. Should be an interesting matchup. There's Tony Smith again. Finally missed one. Truman Slater retrieved the rebound by the given. And that one is stolen away by Nevada. There goes Tony Smith with the layup. Oh, oh look at that. Six feet two, and he got it. <laughs> 46, 26 points for little Tony Smith. The high of the game. He has put on a spectacular performance today. Now the Arcanians been able to put Johnson in and rest Evans because of the change in his lineup. There goes Roby. And his left-handed layup makes it 54, 46. 20 points for Rick Roby. Eight-point lead for the Wildcats of Kentucky. 15 minutes to play. Smith outside. Jackie Robinson lost the ball and is batted away from him by Kyle Mason. Excellent quickness coming up on this play right here. Here goes Smith up. He went up above that basket and dunked it, but there you have a case, Kurt, where three UNLV players were on that break and only one guy from Kentucky. We have a timeout. 14.54 to play. Kentucky, 54. Nevada, Las Vegas, 46. Europe's most successful new car in history comes to America. Introducing Fiesta, now imported from Germany by Ford. Fiesta, 0 to 50 in an average of 8.8 .8 seconds. Road-gripping Michelin radial tires. The traction of front-wheel drive and excellent gasoline economy. Test drive Fiesta at your Ford dealer, where the better ideas keep coming. Do you know me? I was treasurer of the United States, so many people know my name, but not me. That's why I carry the American Express card. It's welcome all over, and that makes me welcome all over. Sure, it's super to have my signature on $60 billion, but for traveling and entertaining, it's a lot better to have my name right here. To apply for a card, call 800-528-8000. The American Express card. Don't leave home without it. Michigan takes on the Bruins of UCLA, plus a special halftime report announcing the pairings for the NCAA championships. Tomorrow at... And the AG 
leading whiz kid of basketball, Billy Packer. How about that game tomorrow? UCLA going to be a real threat in that tournament again. I think so. Gary Cunningham doing an excellent job, of course, with Hubbard out. Michigan hadn't been what they thought, but I tell you, Johnny Orr is an outstanding coach, and he'll have them well prepared. And I'm really looking forward to that halftime tomorrow where we've got that report from NCAA headquarters on the teams and the, and the pairings that are going to make this a super NCAA tournament right here on NBC. 32 teams will be there. That's Jack Robinson. The tip is good. The tip is good by Johnson, Manuel Johnson. Make the score 54 48. And it's right after this game, we'll be bringing you the Florida Citrus Open in the second round. There's Gibbons driving. Gold sending the call on Manuel Johnson. The basket down. Give Gibbons a basket, 18 points for him. Gibbons really moving well here, full court press. Here's Johnson right underneath the basket, came up, and the ball was on its way down. Johnson touched an excellent camera work there right on the spot. 56-48, Kentucky. Oh, Gibbons hurt his arm. He reached out there and extended it, trying to break up that pass, and he's holding it. He's really hurt. Hey, it pulled it out. Joe Hall just spotted it. They're going to get a stop for him. Reggie Theus hits the drive. 56-50. They'll get uh, Jack Gibbons out. His right arm or shoulder has been injured. Al Macy lets it go. And here's the rebound by Sims. Great play out of the fellas that are coming off the bench. He said they're going to all play at their last. Robinson game. won't go. Gibbons on the rebound. And he's hugging his right arm to his side as he trots down the court. Again, Scheidler shooting. There's Gibbons. And uh, we're going to have LeVon Williams coming in. Jack Gibbons will go out. They'll check him over quickly. Kentucky goes to Knoxville next weekend for the NCAA. It looks like his right shoulder. He just He's our top scorer, and uh, they'll, they'll need him in perfect condition. You know, Kurt, Al McGuire talks about the NCAA play, how that last-second shot's got to go in. You can't afford to have any injuries, and I think with the competition being as tight as it is, then that's exactly right. You couldn't afford to have a guy like Gibbons out and still be able to make a run at it. Kentucky ahead by six. They have the two big men on a low double post, Phillips and Roby. And with a zone defense here, a 2-3 thrown up there by UNLV because, right, they've got a, they don't have a shooter in the front line. There's Macy. Macy can't hit him today. And that foul is called on Milky. Fortunately on Milky if you're a UNLV fan because the other guy up there was Evans. Zone 2-3. Sort of a trap zone. Ball goes in there. Here's Roby. Shove that up. Phillips underneath. They can't hold him underneath there. 58 to 50. Phillips first point to the game. Let you see us right back. Outside, Theus hits it. 58-52. Reggie Theus has 12 points. That's below his seasonal average of 19 a game. But he's been a player here today. It's been an outstanding college game. A lot of intensity. Roby. He's a difference. Roby. 22 points for him. His best game was their freshman when he had 30. He's a lot better player now, though, Kurt. Alabama. Right. He's so much better as an overall player. Theus way outside. Roby clears the board. Shining it down for Kentucky. We're leading by eight. Twelve minutes to go. Roby's tired. Really he wants Phillips out. takes it. There's LeBron Williams. Williams up. Phillips loses the ball. He's got it back again. Out of battle ball. Milky. Roby's very tired. He needs a substitution and wants to come out. Tark's going to call a timeout, and I know what he's upset about. He doesn't want them to get that many opportunities to shoot. Well, yeah, they'll talk it over on each bench. Timeout, Kentucky 60, Nevada, Las Vegas, 52. Mr. Highbloom. Huh? Ah, Mr. Highbloom. Yes. Yeah. 
we understand that you're taking a trip with us tomorrow. Trip? Yeah, well, we want you to know that Avis is working right now. Avis? It's vacuuming your car, checking the oil, oil, brakes, even the air and the spare tire. Spare tire. One of the ways Avis tries harder is working at night, so you're ready harder. in the morning. Yeah. Oh, by the way, it's a uh, Chrysler Cordoba, and it's blue. See you in the morning. See you in the morning. It's a sun fire in the summer. It's a rain tire spring and fall. It's a traction tire in winter. It's the one that does it all. Good years no tempo for all seasons, for all year. It holds on range the road, yet runs quiet in the clear. Tiempo is a tough double steel belted radio with a special tread design for all kinds of weather. Rain tire, sun tire, one tire, Tiempo does it all. Do you think an affair can sometimes aid a marriage? Tom Snyder and Suzanne Summers host the National Love, Sex, and Marriage Test on the big event tomorrow at 9.30, 8.30 Central. A record NCAA home court crowd today. 23,608 here in Rupp Arena, Lexington. An all-time NCAA home court attendance record. Uh, they had the Astrodome, they had the big crowd with... Houston and uh, UCLA, but that wasn't a home court. Interesting. This is the home court of the Kentucky team. Turned out an interesting timeout by, by Jerry Tarkanian. He is obviously dominated inside by a much stronger team, but he doesn't want his club to be out rebounded. He called him, got him back in that zone. They're playing a great ball game. Well, this is, this is their NCAA championship game, Nevada. They won't be going to any tournament. They're on probation this year and next year. The coach was released and then had to be rehired when they got a permanent injunction. It's been a strange season at Nevada. Scheidler hit to make it 62 52. Arcanian is coaching because he got an injunction against the school that hires him. <laughs> That's unusual. There's a case where Scheidler and Macy are good outside shooters. Kentucky does not have a guy with Gibbons out of the game that can really shoot from the forward position very well. With his own working. Look at that pass to Jackie Robinson from out front. 62-54. Kentucky leading the battle Las Vegas. And another interesting thing with a big lineup that they have in the ball game, there's nobody to help the guards bring it up the floor. Three big men in there, LeVon Williams, Mike Phillips, Rick Roby. Back to man to man. Checker game being played here. Steal again, Jackie Robinson up with it. We have ten and a half minutes remaining in this game. Eight point lead for the number one ranked team in the country. by Schuyler. Smith is getting ready for another bomb. He's been cooled off here in the second half. There he is. There he's goes. ready. Up, up, and good. And the uh, basket counts. Tony Smith hits another one from outside. The foul is on Scheidler, and he has a chance to make it a three-point play. 28 points for Tony Smith. There you see, look at him bending over there, Kurt. He's really tired out there. Normally a guy who gets tired, and he's an excellent physical patient, obviously, you lose that good touch, but he hit that one nice and clean. 52, 62-57, Kentucky. Five points in a row now for Nevada. They just refuse to fold. Looks like they're going to crumple, but they don't. A lot of guts and, of course, a winning tradition. You win 20 ball clubs. You think the games, you think you can beat anybody. Help me. Oh, the jump by Roby. 64, 57. Roby now has 24 points. Look at him playing the good knees. Got one foot on that plane. He's out here playing a man in the guard position. Bench. I don't see Jack Gibbons there. They must have taken him into the locker room. Oh, there he is. He's back come back there. He's not that hurt. There. His right shoulder's all around. The ball is short. It'll be Kentucky's ball. And Tony Smith missed the whole basket that time. He is just very, very tired out there right now. Said a man hit him on the arm, but I don't believe so. He's just worn out. He's got to come out of the game. Good substitution there. There's Jack Gibbons back in the game. He has the ball now. Rick Roby left. We're down to 9.13 to go. It's a seven-point lead for Kentucky. No 
Rockies really doing a fine job. Oh. Well, they played their heart out there. They are. That shot is hit by Scheidler. Scheidler had a broken foot at the start of the season. He's just now coming back with a physical shape. 66 57. Nine point lead for Kentucky. Here's the guy that should be able to take his man. They've got a matchup here, Evans on Phillips, but Evans doesn't get the ball in shooting position. Maybe if he gets it in the corner, he's better off. Kentucky throws it away. Kentucky's ball, eight and a half minutes to play. One more season game for Kentucky. Kentucky's going out of the ball game. Smith really didn't get much of a rest right there. And I'd have to say, if you're going to point the ball at anybody, when a man's going to make a backdoor move, the passer is the one that should assume he's going all the way. So he's going to throw it away, throw it on the base. Team foul on Nevada. There are three team fouls on Kentucky. Both coaches starting to shuttle a lot. Coming up next, the Florida Citrus Open second round play. Ten players within two strokes of the leader. It's a hot round. You know when Crenshaw gets that magic wand going on the putty, it's pretty tough to beat him. He's in the lead. Nine point lead for Kentucky. James Lee's on the court again. Should have been a jump ball. He had it five seconds. Good play. If Kentucky builds up a big lead, Joe Hall will take his four seniors out one by one to allow them to get ovation for it. He may not have that opportunity. There's the five-second call situation. Great play right there. Good hustle. Oakland did a good job. 7.45 remains. Oakland on the play. The shot, the basket counts. He fouls. And they come right back again. Looks like they're going to be run away from, and then suddenly they'll hit a couple of baskets and stay within contention. And a timeout now is called by Kentucky. Joe Hall talks to his team with a timeout to score. Kentucky 66, the Battle Las Vegas 59. Hi, I'm an independent Texaco retailer. Not really, but when I grow up, maybe I'll go into business for myself. I'm on a Texaco station like my daddy does. Make all the decisions, hire my own help, set my own prices. And Texaco will help me a lot, but I'll be the boss. Yes, Mama says to come home for dinner right now. Texaco's independent retailers, working to keep your trust. Lifting all that weight makes me feel just great. Now the time I find got blue ribbon on my mind. I've got blue ribbon on my mind. live regional coverage of the best in college basketball later today on NBC. Check local listings for the game and time in your area. Well, later today, there are going to be some outstanding basketball games around the country on uh, NBC and TVS. Michigan State, Minnesota, that's a great game. Michigan State's already won the league. Tennessee at Florida, Southeastern Conference action, and there are the Lobos. New Mexico really having a great year. Should be strong in the West. St. Bonnie, Virginia Commonwealth, ECAC game ought to be interesting. They both had some big upsets in Central Michigan at Toledo, UCLA at USC, and that's always been one of the traditional games around the country the last Saturday of the year. A little portable uh, television set. That's right, number one. Sam Copeland going to the line, just came up with a big defensive play, and then a real good maneuver with the guard forward exchange to get that line shot off. Next to six, six for Kentucky. Oh, what a well-coached club this is. They are really caping in the game just with good theory. They got the ball right back again on that zone trap. That press. Lee Basket here, and they're right back in, Billy. Right, Lee back in the game. And what's happening here is Kentucky's trying to match up with Vegas' quickness. 
There's Tony Smith. Up, up. We're good. 15 footer he has. Come on, come on. That was a good foul from the standpoint of UNLV because, of course, Macy had a man wide open down the court. Fouls on Copeland. That's the 16th foul on Nevada. Here's Tony Smith. You know why he missed this shot, Kirk? Too open. Nobody on yeah, him. That's on right. Him. Here's the foul. And that was a fortunate foul right there because Scheidler was wide open up the court. He had too much time to think about that one. Macy, what can you do? And Evans was smart right there. He didn't try to get in the play. He's been able to play with four fouls on him for about 30 minutes. 68-60 Kentucky. We're approaching uh, 11 minutes to go. And there is a silly mistake by Jackie Robinson. He thought, of course, that time that Evans be open. A good defensive job by Phillips coming out of an, in an abnormal situation that far from the back. Tired. That's... Boy, Kentucky 
Kaminsky still coming on. It's a powerful ball. Foul is called on Manuel Johnson. Second on him. He thought he had a clean block. If we can get a rerun on this. We might be able to see whether he did or not. Second. And 